welcome back. Today we're going to go over the advanced method for the 2x2, two two, also known as the Ortega method. First, let's just do an overview of what the Ortega method is. So the first step is solving a side, so I'll just do white, I guess. It doesn't have to be perfect all the way around, you just have to solve a side. Then next, you orient the last layer in one step. There we go, there's all the yellow. Then you'll move around all the rest of the pieces in one algorithm, then you're done. Let's start with the first step, building a side. It should be pretty intuitive. There are no algorithms for this step, but just look at the cube and see what's the easiest way to build one side of any color. Don't start with the white because there are usually better cases for other colors. So here, I see we have two reds, red here, and the other red is here. So I'd probably go here, 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 here. There we go. Now we have one side. Let me mess it up again, so let me show you how it's done. Here I might go blue. We have blue here, two blues here, blue here. There we go. That will just take practice, but I'll also show you a few other things. So, this is an annoying case when you have three here and the last one facing up. Now, you might think that this is the fastest way, but I'm going to show you that it's not. So, if you have this facing up, move it out of the way, bring this up, and now you can just move it back down and you have the blue side. Remember, in Ortega, it doesn't matter whether all the pieces are the same around. If you can just get the pieces down and all facing down, that is all you need to do. Next, I'm going to quickly go over the seven different OLL cases. OLL stands for Orienting Last Layer. So basically, the goal is to get all of the yellow facing up or whatever color is opposite the side you built. So, here's the first of the seven. It's called soon, it's where you have dot here, dot here, dot here. Here's the algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And there you go, that's that one. Now there's one that looks very similar that I'm also going to show. It's called anti-soon. So as you can see, when I put it here, my yellow corner isn't facing me, it's actually facing the other way. So, you have to do a different algorithm to solve this. So, there are really two ways. I'll just show you this one. I think it's the fastest. Um, here you go. So, you have dot in the top left, and you'll do this. R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. There you go. That's two of the seven. The next two I'm going to show you are also very similar. So, this one, where you have two here and two facing up, is very easy. So, you'll do F, then you'll do R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So, you see, all we did was this, that. Now, this next one is very similar. So, this is where you have yellow facing here, so the yellows are facing out, and then these two are facing the same way. So you will do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. See, so it's really just the same thing, but you do it twice. So F here, there, and you're done. This next case is a standalone. It's when you have the pieces facing out here and pieces facing out here. So you'll do this algorithm. R2, U2, R, U2, R2. This, there you go. These next two cases, once again, are very similar. These are actually the same as their CFOP OLL counterparts. So, if you already know those, you can just skip this part. So, this is where you have these facing up, and these facing out. So, you'll do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, 
f prime. So you see, all we did was this move, and we sledgehammered the corner in. There we go. Now this next one is very similar. So let me set it up. So this is where you have two diagonal. It's the only one where you have two facing up diagonal, so it's easy to spot. So you'll start with this dot facing towards you. If you did it here, then it wouldn't work. You know, so this is the only one where the dot's facing towards you. And you'll do this. So start with F prime, then it's very similar to the last one. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R. So it's just the same, except you did the F at the beginning instead of near the end. So you have this one, then you have this one. Now that you have oriented both layers, the last step is PBL, which means permutation of both layers. Surprisingly, there are less cases for this than OLL. There are only five cases, and two you've probably already heard of if you can solve the three by three. So, first is this. It's common, you know, if you have headlights, then you have two you need to switch. So, people do this in a lot of different ways. So, people do T-perm. I'm not going to slow it down. There's tons of videos online. I have a video on it. There's JB-perm. That's also a pretty good one. I have a video on it as well. You can check out my page. So now I'm going to show you two that are probably the fastest. Those last two, some people do them, but I'm going to show you the two that I think are the fastest. So here we go. Block here, piece you need to switch here. R, U2, R prime, U prime. R, U2, R prime. F, R prime, F prime, R. So you see, all we did was up, here, up, down, and then we just sledgehammered the last one in. That one's pretty good. It has no AUF, whatever the block was. It stays the same after. But the pro I think the problem is with that one is... If you had something like this where the block isn't already in place and then you go down well now you have to move back up to fix that last layer so now i'm going to show you the one that i absolutely think is the fastest this is the one that i would do in time to solves and this is the one that i think you should do as well it's called ja perm i have a video on it also works on three by three but i'm just going to show it to you here in this video r prime U prime, L prime, U2. R, U prime, R prime, U2. And then you can either do an R2 or sort of move both layers together. So you can either do R, L, or R2. So once you get better at this, it can actually be really fast like this. And so this one does have an AUF. So basically, if, is it, if it's positioned here, where this needs to move over here, after I'm done with it, it'll be done. But once you're done with it, you're in a pretty good position to move that last layer. So that's why I think this is the best way. This next one is when you have a full side on the bottom, and then you have two diagonally you need to switch. I really only think there's one good way to do this, so it's called Y-perm. I have a video on it, but I'm going to show it to you in this video anyway. F. R. U prime. R prime. U prime. R. U. R prime. F prime. R. U. R prime. U prime. R prime. F. R. F prime. So you see you do this, and then you just do the same algorithm for this OLL case. It's just is this, sledgehammer in, and you're done. This next case is when you have two pieces of swap here and two pieces of swap here. 
so it's sort of like a double t perm. Although you can do one algorithm to solve all of these at once. So begin by putting both blocks in front of you, then you'll do this algorithm. R2, U prime, B2, U2, R2, U prime, R2. Here we go. So just this back, bring that in. There we go. That's that algorithm. This next algorithm is easily the easiest algorithm that I've ever learned. It's when you have y perm on top, y perm on bottom. This is all it is. R2, F2, R2. That's the entire algorithm. So to get faster at this, kind of bring both together. Do that with those fingers, bring it back up. We have one more case. It's so when you have two to swap here on the top, and then you have a diagonal swap on the bottom. So you can really position the bottom anywhere, but if you position it here, then there will be no AUF for either of the layers. So here's the algorithm. R, U prime, R, F2, R prime, U, R prime. So you go up, F2, bring it down. Sort of satisfying that last move, you just go like this, then you can just say, done. I use this method and I can consistently get around five seconds. So once you practice this for a while, you should get pretty fast at it. There are faster methods out there, but they use insane numbers of algorithms. So I think this is the best kind of low key really fast way to do the two by two. I hope this video helped you and for the future, good luck.